John chapter 4, verses 10 to 11 in TPT. Can we go right there? Hallelujah. 1 John chapter 4, verse 10 to 11 TPT. It says here, by the way, we're celebrating Love Month. Yay! How many of you came today with your, with your husband, with your wife, or with your family? You're here in the church today. Amen. You're by yourself. Oh, sooner or later, you'll, you will be coming together with him. Actually, nandito rin siya. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, but anyway, it's good to celebrate um, Love Month. But I, I hope so. We're not just celebrating uh, love, love in February, but we're celebrating it on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. So, but this month is so special. So, happy hearts uh, month to everybody right here. Okay. So, I'd like to read this verse. This is love. He loved us long before. Can you say with me, long before? So a long, long time ago, once upon a time, you are already loved. Okay? I believe that when it nakakon talaga na, ha, love talaga ko. Yes, a long, long time ago, even before you were conceived in your mother's womb, God has already conceived you in His mind and has loved you a long time ago. Amen? Amen. So it says here, this is love. He loved us long before we loved Him. It was His love, not ours. Can you, say with what, can you say with me, it was His love, not ours. So if there is one thing that we can boast about, it's the love of God. Amen. You know, sometimes we boast about our love towards Him, but most of the time, at times, we fail. Come on, right? At times, we don't feel like it, right? Or is it just me? Okay. But you know, one thing that remains remain constant that never changes and remain, it remains the same. Hallelujah. Reckless as it, as it is, stubborn as it is, never gives up as it is. Amen. Tremendous love it is. Hallelujah. A kind of love that is lavish in each and every one. Hallelujah. That is the love of God for us. Amen. He proved it. Okay. Wow. He proved it. So I remember Pastor Ram said, Nagi effort. Okay, nag effort Kung may minamahal, nag effort Okay, shout out lang po. Okay, so he proved it by sending his son to be the pleasing sacrificial offering to take away our sins. Hallelujah. God proved his love by sending his one and only son, Jesus Christ. Next verse as we continue to take away our sins. So it says, delightfully loved ones. Wow, I like it. The Bible is very, very specific in terms of um, uh, describing, okay? It says, if he loved, when we talk about delightfully loved ones, it's talking about us. You are delightfully loved by God. If he loved us with such tremendous love, can you say with me, tremendous love? Then, loving one another should be our way of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the reading of his word, Heavenly Father. I thank you so much for tonight, Lord God, that you will just have your way in us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will continually reveal Jesus Christ to us, Lord God. I thank you that we will continually experience, Lord God, not just know your love, but experience, let, experience it, Lord God, having that experiential knowledge, Lord God. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, Now you will just um, unveil, Lord God, your word as it is tonight to each and every one of us. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated right now. Go ahead. Amen. Now, if we jump to verse 19 of that same verse, and we go in verse 19 in um, New King James. Can we have it in the New King James? There you go. So it says here, we love because He first loved us. Amen. So we have the capacity to love because He first loved us. Um, first and foremost, um, if we have not experienced this kind of love, the love that God has for us, there is no other love that could ever satisfy you but the love of God. Amen. There are times that we're looking in the wrong places, in the wrong people. Come on now. The kind of love that will truly satisfy us. You know what? God has already given it to us and He has already, it's the Word of God says, he, we love we are able to love because He first loved us. We are able to demonstrate this love because He was able to demonstrate it to us. Amen. Hallelujah. He loved us first. Can you say with me, love us first? Remember what we're um, uh, reading earlier, it says a long time ago, long before. I like it, long before. Can you just say with me, long before? Hallelujah. Long before God already loved us. Pastor mentioned this. In and of ourselves, we don't have the capacity to love. 
you know, we cannot love freely. We cannot love sacrificially to someone else. We, we cannot demonstrate a kind of a genuine love, okay, unless we experience the love of God. Amen. So, I encourage you, church, okay, I encourage you, now is the time to experience this love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Not tomorrow, but now. Amen. Amen. So, 1 John chapter 4, verse 19, we love because he first loved us. Hallelujah. Can you just talk to the person next to you and say, We love because he first loved us. So the title of the message, actually, I'm just taking it from Pastor Ram. It's sacrificial love. A sacrificial love. Hallelujah. We'll be digging on more to this. Amen. Hallelujah. Because this is the kind of love that God has shown to each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. So, can, if we go um, directly to Genesis chapter 22, verse, verses from verse 1, okay, this is actually talking, this is where the law was first mentioned, okay, and there's the law of first mention, so we're just going back to this verse as it is where actually love has first been mentioned in the context of the father's love for his son, okay, so how many of you have been believing for children, I am actually believing for children. We are believing for children. Amen. And you know, I can relate with Father Abraham right here. Okay. So Abraham, for decades, I mean literally decades. Okay. You know, I had my, we had our first baby. Uh, we waited for seven months, uh, seven years. Seven years when we had him or her, which is don't know because um, he already, she's or he or she is already in heaven. So may na kami advanced parting at to, okay? <laughs> Waiting for us, preparing. I believe gin ready na niyan mga mansion, okay? <laughs> gin ready na niyan mansion. But I could relate to Abraham here because um he'd been waiting. Say with me, waiting. Okay, and it's not easy to wait. Yeah, literally, mga single, it's not easy to wait. But while you wait. Worship the Lord, trust the Lord. He has his best interest for you, amen, and for your partner, amen. So it came to pass uh, after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here am I, okay? Next verse. Then he said, take now your son, we're talking about Asaph, your only son, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering, as one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. There is a specific instruction for Abraham. Amen. Not just any son, okay, but the son whom he loves. Can you say with me, the son whom he loves? Amen. Um, very, very specific, okay. He was talking about Isaac, uh, and there's, he says there, and offer him. I believe from the very start, God already talked to him, okay, and offered him. In the story of Isaac, okay, as a burnt offering as one, on one of the mountains of which I tell you. I, uh, this is actually a foreshadowing of Jesus that sooner or later will be crucified in one of those mountains. This actually, remember, the, the first mention of love right here, whom you love, okay, it is in the context of the Father, and son. Amen. The father, because of his great love, he gave his one and only son. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So let me continue verse, verse 3, verse 3. And Abraham rose early in the morning, excited. <laughs> How many of you, if you hear this, this, this actually, this specific instruction from the Lord, you've been waiting for decades. Amen. And you would wake up early in the morning and saddle his donkey. It talks about he was prepared. He was ready. It was without question. Can you say with, with me, without question? Amen. Hallelujah. What are you nag second thought? You know God's love for you? What are you nag, nag doubt? What are you nag, nag think twice? Hallelujah. He was so solid. Hallelujah. When, when he, he wanted, he went, because he loves you so much, he sent his only son, solid at the decision. Can you say with me, solid? Amen. He really decided a long time ago to love you. Amen. It says here, So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and said, and Isaac his son, and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God has told him. So he went there together with his son. It says, Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes. Mean to say, they walked for quite a while. Amen. Um, the person, yan na may na one hour la. <laughs> One hour la or like 
pera la minutes or um, hours. But for them, they were they walked. Okay, so I don't know what was going on in in, in Abraham's mind during this time uh, that he was actually uh, going on one of the on a mountain in Moriah to sacrifice his son. Okay, so it says here on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar, afar off. Next verse. And Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship. Okay, this was also the first time that the worship was mentioned. Okay, say with me, worship. You know, um, I remember before, Pastor would always tell us, worship is a lifestyle. Amen. It's, when we talk about worship, it's just not about music. It goes beyond music. Amen. It goes beyond music. Right here, when worship was mentioned, it was not talking about anything of, of instruments or dancing or um, musical, in, uh, musical uh, instruments or whatever. This one is they will go um, and offer, okay, a burnt and offering, okay? So worship, when we talk about worship, it is a lifestyle. Can you say with me, a lifestyle? Amen. Hallelujah. Your life, okay? Is becoming a representation of the Lord. It's a representation of the Lord. Wherever you go, you go, when you are in your workplace, tomorrow is Monday. So, masanyan, hallelujah, Monday na naman. Amen. May hallelujah na. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Monday. Amen. Hey, I'm about excited at Monday. Okay. Who? Kuno who? Pipirit pagod. Who? Who? Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, we're in. In your workplace, that you, that's the place where you spend most of your time. Right? Amen? And you know, people will know if um, you're, you know, we have been set apart. Amen? Can you say with me, I am set apart? Amen? Remember the, 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 uh, the first uh, months we'll be talking about, I am loved, I am favored, I am anointed. Amen? So, you're anointed in your workplace. You've been set apart, amen, by the Lord. Hallelujah. To demonstrate His love in your workplace. Amen. Amen. So, let's continue in this verse. Let's continue. It says here, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship and we will. Can you underline that word if you have your Bible with you? We will. So, Abraham, no wonder he is called the father of faith. Amen. He is called the father of faith. It says, we will come back to you. So he resonated with his mind that even if he had to kill Isaac and offer him as a burnt offering, his one and only beloved son, okay, the son whom he loved, okay, the son whom he waited for decades, literally decades. I mean, literally, because Isaac was born um, in their old age, okay, and it says, We will come back. God is going to raise him up. So he doesn't have this question in terms of he simply just obey the Lord. Say with me. Uh, and kind of obedience without questioning. Amen? Tama? Right? Okay, sometimes kung naobey kita, kaya no, Lord, napakianap anay. Kaya no, diri ya, Lord. Pwede man hiya. Okay? Kaya no, diri. Amen? Kaya no, diri pa yana. Amen? So, um, when God calls us to obey and He has a specific instruction, um, obey without delay. Amen? Can you tell the person next and say, obey without delay? Amen. Hallelujah. So, he, he obey even if he doesn't understand, okay, um, truly what was in the, in the mind of the Lord, okay, but he simply obey. One thing for sure, he know, he definitely knows the heart of God. Amen. He definitely knows the heart of God. It was even God who promised it to him. Amen. Hallelujah. So I believe he's holding on to a promise when God said that you will be a descendant of many. Amen. Amen. So let's continue. Where are we? In that verse. Okay, continue tayo. Sorry. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Asaph, his son. And he took the fire. By the way, Asaph was the one who carried the, the, the wood, which represents Jesus carrying the cross. Amen. The cross on the way to Calvary. Amen. Hallelujah. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Asaph his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and the two of them went together. Okay. Mo pelo ti Asaph ano wari gudi nagpakiana, Father. Okay. Wari gudi yung question question. Bagan. Ah, hi manan amon ini ko ani igo offer. So next verse, verse seven. But Asaph spoke to to Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, here I, am, here I am, my son. And he said, look, 
Adi na ngayon nagpakain. The fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Amen. And you know what? Jesus became the lamb of God. Amen. He became worthy as the lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's continue. Verse, verse 8. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. He knows his God. He knows his God. Can you just, I believe um, there's anointing here. Can you just talk to the person next to you? No matter what you're believing, tell that person, God will provide. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will provide. Amen. God will provide a husband. God will provide a child. God will provide a job. Amen. God will provide a visa if you're believing one. God will provide a house. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God will provide, hallelujah, whatever that is you need. Healing that may be, amen. A restoration of your family, amen. He will provide, amen. Hallelujah. Once again, can you touch your heart and says, and tell yourself, God will provide. Make it personal. Say with me, my God will provide. Amen. Hallelujah. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, where are we? Why is that? Okay, where are we? It says here, God will provide for himself the lamb for burnt offering. So, the two of them went together. So, I believe so while they were walking, God has already provided. Amen. And the same way, the offering is on its way. Hallelujah. And Abraham said, my son, Okay, next verse. Then they came to the place of which God has told them, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in, or in order, and he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Amen. Hallelujah. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Okay, next verse. But the angel of the Lord, can you say with me, the angel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, this is the pre-incarnated Christ, and called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. I like it. When God calls you, no, na-answer ka lang yun. Sana diri kita masyado. Um, I, I could say, we are, our hearts are not hardened or we are not too busy in this generation. Too busy not to hear from the Lord. Amen. Amen. There are so a lot of noises, destruction that tries to get away our attention. Amen. And our focus, I could say, but I pray in this generation that we are ever more sensitive. Amen. As the Spirit of God calls us, as God calls us, because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Unlike before, hallelujah. I believe this, is, this time is a lot easier to listen from the Lord and to hear from Him specifically. Amen. Amen. It says, next verse, verse 12. And He said, Do not lay your hand on the Lord or do anything to Him, for I... I know that you fear God. You remember from the very start, um, God wanted to test Abraham. Okay? But this is not actually between Abraham and Isaac. But this was talking about, this is a foreshadowing of what is to come. Amen. The father who loves us so much is willing, is willing to give up his son as a sacrifice. Amen. This is what we call the sacrificial love. Amen. It wasn't easy for him all the way to the cross. Hallelujah. You know, he became his God, but yet he became man. He became human. Amen. Like all the way, the journey, uh, it wasn't easy. Hallelujah. Amen. But he, hallelujah, willingly say yes to the Father because he loves you and me. Amen. So do not lay your hands on the Lord or do anything to him. And now I know that you fear God since you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Amen. Hallelujah. So next verse. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked and there behind him was a ram. Okay, not Pastor Ram, okay. <laughs> what was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns at the right time. There's provision. Amen. At the right time, hallelujah. I don't know why we're talking about provision right here, but there is provision at the right time. Amen. And this was also the time when God revealed himself as the Jehovah Jireh. Amen. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked and there be behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, um, God didn't allow Abraham to offer his son Isaac as, an off as a burnt offering. Why? Because it's actually like the father is saying, God is saying, uh, 
it is His Son, hallelujah, who's going to take that place as an offering for you and me. Amen. As remember earlier, it was is he proved, say with me, proved. He proved his love by becoming the pleasing sacrifice, sacrifice hallelujah, that takes away our sins. Amen. Amen. So, can we go to uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18? 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18. Wait. Okay. It says here, for Christ also suffered once for, for sins. Can we have it in TPT? TPT. There. Christ suffered, okay, and died for sins once for once and for all. Say with me, once. Okay, makakausala. Okay, masimana santa na po. Okay, diri po ito ya kada tuig. Okay, namamatay, makausala. Okay, gimbaydan niya natin mga sala, makausala. Say with me, makausala. Which reminds me, okay, there's a best way to actually spend your um, Holy Week. Okay, we have the Life Summer Camp. Life Summer Camp. Amen. 2024. Hallelujah. We're all set. Hallelujah. Amen. We encourage you, come together with your family. Amen. I tell you, last year, there were a lot of testimonies together as a family being restored because they have attended the Life Summer Camp. Amen. Um, tika nga nani, nga tuntata. Yan na pala, actually, we were talking kanina ni Daisy because we are having some concerns with the rooms, okay? <laughs> Which is a good thing, okay? First come, first serve basis po tayo. So go register, okay? So, <laughs> um, kanina pala, mga senior citizen, may dako no upat ka senior citizen ate, ma-join nira. Oh, literally, may dako ka istorya, may dalot ya upat nga, duha, duha nga upod na Sigo na natin seasoned. Okay? Seasoned ones. Wow! Come on, guys! I tell you, here, grabe ka excited. Nagpang-register na po. Nag-register na po, Hira. How much more us? Come on! Alright? Diri ko kita magpapaorhe. So, balik kita nga di. Wait. Christ suffered and died for our sins and for all. Once and for all, the innocent, say with me, the innocent, Okay? The innocent for the guilty to bring you near to God by His body being put to death and by being raised to life by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit. Amen. So I tell you, Jesus, He was innocent and made guilty for you and me. Hallelujah. You know, we were dead before because of our trespasses, the nature, okay? By its nature, you know, it was not the doing Okay, that makes us sinful, but it was the nature. You know, Abra uh, um, Adam and Eve, when they sinned, when they disobeyed the Lord, when Adam disobeyed the Lord, what happened? It was carried on to us. Amen? Amen? It was easy for us to believe that we sinned because of what Abraham did. But I encourage you, I hope that it's easier for us to believe that we are saved because of what Christ Jesus has done. Amen. Hallelujah. So Christ suffered and died for sins once and for all. The innocent for the guilty to bring you near to God by His body being put to death and by being raised to life by the Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, we're talking about sacrificial love. This is the kind of love that God has shown to each and every one of us. He sacrificed Himself. He sacrificed to the point of He willingly gave up His life for you and me. Amen. Um, I tell you, this, this uh, uh, day and in an atong generation yana, um, it's is diri na hiya bagan uh, and sacrificial bang love, okay? It's no longer like bagan na adapt bah atun, this, this generation. Why? Sanay kita hin quick fix, sanay kita hin. Malaksian la kun you want to express your love to someone pwede ka lang mag-food panda unlike before no nagle-letter pa talaga hera may telegram pa oh, actually the other day i was watching the sound of music <laughs> the very classic the sound of music it is my all-time favorite movie okay same wo pareho tayo so nanonood ako ang telegram okay grabe talaga na buy it on very very expensive you know just to be able to express their love but you know god paid by His blood and by His life, His love for each and every one of us. And yet, the Word of God says, He demonstrated His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He died for us even that in while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So, going back, okay, from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13, okay, 
Can we go to Colossians chapter 2, verses 13 to 15? Colossians 2, 13 to 15, TPT. TPT. Colossians 2, chapter 13 to 15. This realm of death describes our former state, okay? For we were held in sin's grasp. But now we've been resurrected out of that realm of death, never to return. For we are forever alive and forgiven all of our sins. Hallelujah. Forever alive. We don't return to that state again. Amen. This is the word of God, very specific. And says, and we have been forgiven. When we talk about um, all, we're talking about, no, we're not just talking about some. We're talking about the past, the present, and the future. Amen. So can you say with me, all? Amen. And says here, he canceled out. I like it. He canceled out every legal violation we had on our record and the oldest arrest warrant that stood to edict us. Edict us. He erased it all, our sins. Can you say with me? Erased all. Our sins. Our stained soul. He deleted it. I believe makakarelate kita yung atanan and erase and deleted. Okay? He deleted it all and they cannot be retrieved. Wow, I like it. I like this kind of technology, but this is not a technology. This is paid by the blood of Jesus. Amen. It says, everything we once were in Adam has been placed into his cross and nailed permanently there as a public display of consolation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. This is a wonderful news. Amen. So as Pastor Ram shared earlier, number one, forgiveness was given because... Guilt and punishment was transferred to someone. So we were forgiven because Jesus, the innocent, was made guilty for you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus took your place. Amen. We were the one who was supposed to be guilty and deserved to be punished. But you know what? Hallelujah. His mercy, what we deserve, He withheld Amen. His grace, what we don't deserve, His love, His very own Son, Jesus Christ, He gave freely. Amen. Hallelujah. What a love. Amen. What a love. Hallelujah. So, forgiveness was given because guilt and punishment was transferred to someone. That is Jesus. He was innocent and was made guilty. Amen. So, until you have this revelation, talking about the finished work of Jesus Christ, you know, you will live in condemnation and shame. And God doesn't want you to be, to be stuck in there. Amen. God doesn't want you to be stuck in there. Once and for all, God has dealt with sin. Amen. He took it to himself. That was the word of God. It is the word of God. When he said he canceled it, he erased it all. He canceled it all. What you are about to do even in the future. You know what Christ has done in the cross. When he says it is finished. It actually covers the past, it covers the present, amen, and it even covers the future. I mean, when he says, I am the great I am, he only has the capacity to go back in the past and to be in the present and even in our future. Amen, church. This is a wonderful news that regardless of what you do in the future, hallelujah, God has already forgiven you. Amen. He has forgiven you of the past, of the present, amen and of the future that sins that you're about to do amen amen so he, the nature of sin he took it to himself hallelujah amen second someone else received the burden of suffering amen it, we're supposed to carry it on our own but jesus can you say with me jesus he received the burden and the suffering that's supposed to be carried by us hallelujah that's why jesus said come Remember um, last week, Pastor, um, 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 talk about uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 38, of 28 to 30, when it says, come. It is a God-initiated journey. Amen. I tell you, when I was, uh, I was having actually a demonstration, um, can I ask Jack? Come here. Come here, Jack. Okay. Uh, can we give it up to her, Jack? Yay. <laughs> Don't worry, Jack. I won't let you preach. Okay. Sige. So, uh, pretend that... Uh, Pretend lang to ha, I am Jesus, okay? So when I'm, I'm saying to Jack, come to me, Jack, okay? So I was the one who initiated this journey. Amen. Hallelujah. So Pastor mentioned this, that we were not the one, like, we found Jesus and we are walking with him together. No, it was, first and foremost, it was God. So along the way, even if Jack will, um, 
mapahirayuhiya or he will or she she will actually let go okay i'm still holding on because i was the one invited ibaiton ibaiton yang kumaputa akon ibalot itot akot nakaputa yan sa come Come. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the journey that God has called us. You know, God holds you in His right hand. Amen. Even at times we don't feel like it. God, maperayulani ako. God, pwede magbackslide lani kadali. You know, I tell you, God is so gracious. He's so patient. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, but you know, He will never leave you. Hebrews 13 verse 5, it says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you, leave you even in times of doubt. Hallelujah. God said, I will never leave you. I'm always there. Even if you're doubting, He's there. Amen. Hallelujah. He is always there for you. Thank you so much, God. Jack. Can we, give it, can we give it to Jack? Hallelujah. A round of applause for Jack. Amen. He will always be there for you. Amen. That's why He initiated this journey of saving you and me by demonstrating His love. Hallelujah. He was the one who initiated it. Amen? Amen. So, uh, someone else received the burden and suffering that's supposed to be carried by another. Number three, there is the love that is willing to take the bruises and the burden for someone else. Amen? Can you say with me, willing? Iba itong napiritan, iba itong willing. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I do hope that you willingly came here. Amen. Um, but it's okay if you come here because of that until later on, um, you will have a revelation The Sunday is for the Lord. It's, it's the Lord's day. Amen. So Jesus, not only that He sacrificed, but He became the sacrifice. He Himself sacrificed. Amen. But I picture ko ni an oink oink. Okay. <laughs> an oink oink. Okay. An chicken, nag sacrifice niya an manok. Ao niya egg. An niya egg. Pero an oink oink, okay? Ang istorya ni Pastor Ram nga, ang iya amo, gusto talaga niya, please, mga birthday na niya amo. Okay? Nasa yung chicken, uh, favorite niya ang egg. So, I can just give egg. Pwede lang akong magbunayin egg. Pero na, an, an oink oink, nasa yung iya nga, um, an akon amo, maaram ako, malilipay talaga akon, bacon. Bacon and iya magiging usan handa. Lichon yes, I love lichon. <laughs> uh, but you know, he gave up his life para magkamay adan bacon. Amen. At the same time, or maging lichon hiya. Okay? But so much for that. We're not just talking about food here. We're, we're talking about the Jesus. Not only that he sacrificed, he became the sacrifice. Amen. He became the sacrifice. Can you say with me, Jesus became the sacrifice? Hallelujah. And here's the good news. He did it all for you and me. He did it all for you and me. Can you talk to the person next and say, He did it all for you and me? Okay. Uh, first, uh, Isaiah chapter 53. If we could just read from Isaiah chapter 53. Okay. Um, can we start in verse 1? Who has believed a report and to whom has the arm of the Lord has been revealed? Next verse. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Is this? Uh, Isaiah 53. Okay. Can we go to verse 5? Verse 5. But he was wounded. Can you say with me? Wounded. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Amen. By his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Jesus, he was wounded. How many of you have watched The Passion of Christ? Okay, later on we'll be actually showing you a video. This is in courtesy of a new creation. Um, they, they actually put it, this is a very way, it's a kind of animation that shows us, okay, uh, what Christ has done. Amen. Okay, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. He did it all for you and me. Amen. He did it all for you and me. He became, he became wounded for our transgression. He was bruised. He took it upon himself. Can you say with me? He took it upon himself. Amen. He received the burden and the suffering and the bruise for you and me so that we can experience healing. Hallelujah. And wholeness. And we can experience peace. First, of course, peace with God, okay, and experiences the, and after we experience the peace with God, we experience the peace of God. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, in the message translation. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, it says here, How you say in Christ, God put the wrong on him who never did anything wrong so we could be put right 
with Christ. Can we have it in the New King James Version? It says here, Christ he was made who, for he who, him who knew no sin to be sin for us. He was made sin who knew no sin for our sake, for your sake. Can you say with me, for my sake? That we might become the righteousness of God in him. You know, in the cross, the finished work of Jesus Christ, there has been a divine exchange that had happened. You know, Pastor would always say this, all the bad that was on us was placed on Jesus so that we can experience all the good that was in him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's how much God loves us. Amen. Hallelujah. So he did it all for you and me. He did it all for you and me. Um, I would like to ask that, videos, that video to be shown. Okay. Can we show it uh, very quickly? This is going to be quick. commit my spirit. On his own for your sake for my sake for your children's sake amen hallelujah Isaiah 53 verse 10 Isaiah 53 verse 10 
Isaiah 53, verse 10. Let's go right there. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. You know, God considered it pleasing to him when Jesus was bruised. I believe so because he was actually thinking for you and me. Amen. The life of Jesus for the sake of many. Amen. His life. Hallelujah, so that we can experience life to the fullest. Amen. It says here, has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So it pleased the Lord. Amen. It wasn't easy for the father to give up his son. But you know, I tell you, he was thinking of you and me. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for His sacrificial love that is beneficial for everyone. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I tell you, when He was on that cross, he was, I believe He could be able to see you. Amen. He was seeing you. And it, it brought so much joy for him to willingly gave up his life. Hallelujah. For you and me. Amen. I tell you, it wasn't easy for him. There was a time even when he was praying in Gethsemane that he was actually perspiring. There was so much going on in his head. I tell you that he was perspiring. There, there was so much uh, grief in him. I mean, torment on him in his mind that he was perspiring blood. Amen. But I tell you, at the end of, uh, while he was praying, he says, not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. He was asking the father, father, if there's a way, could you take this cup away? But at the end of the day, hallelujah, he says, not my will, but yours be done. Amen. You know, when he was being questioned um, in front of Pontius Pilate, okay, he said nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he was willing to die on the cross. I tell you, during the Roman Empire, death, crucifixion is a kind of punishment. It was the most, I could say, ex uh, excruciating, uh, a shameful, painful kind of punishment for a criminal. But you know what? God took it. Amen. He willingly carried the cross. Hallelujah. He willingly gave up his life. Amen. Hallelujah. So that you and me could experience freedom. You and me could experience healing. You and me more than anything. Hallelujah. Could be reconciled back to God. Hallelujah. When you know, when, we, when sin, because of the nature of sin, okay, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, Jesus went all the way um, to hate us. To pay the penalty of our sin. You know, Jesus paid the price that we couldn't pay. His blood, His life was an overpayment. Amen. Amen. We don't have to do anything for God to love us less. We, can, we cannot do anything more for God to love us more. Once and for all, Christ loved us. Amen. And He demonstrated His love for us. Amen. So Jesus was despised for us to be accepted. He came to give His life so that we can experience life. Hallelujah. He, he died a shameful, shameful death okay, so that we can experience Right now, freedom. Amen. Therefore, there is no guilt, no sin, no guilt, no shame that holds you from coming to Him. Because Christ already, Christ Jesus Christ has already paid it on the cross for you and me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the nature of God's love, this sacrificial love, okay, it transforms us from the inside out. Number one, it transforms us from the inside out. It turns what is seemingly a burden to, a to be a blessing opportunity, blessed opportunity. From a duty to a delight, hallelujah. From a daily grind to a daily bread, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. Can we go there? Philippians 2 verse 8. And being found, found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, hallelujah. And became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And you know what? Let me tell you this. This love that we can experience or we have experienced doesn't end with us. I want to throw this challenge. Christ made the sacrifice. Amen. Once and for all, He was the sacrifice. But can we read it in 1 
um, John chapter 4, verse 19, TPT. TPT. Can we go right there? First John says here, Our love for others is our grateful response. Can you just say with me, grateful? How many of you are grateful for what Christ has done on the cross? Amen. Forever grateful. Hallelujah. Forever thankful. You know, it is the love of God that compels us to do whatever God has called us to do in this life. Amen. To love your neighbor, to love your enemy. Hallelujah. To continually believe for your family. Amen. It's the love of God that compels us. Our love for others is a grateful response to the love that God has first demonstrated to us. Here is my challenge for everybody. This love doesn't stop right here. Amen. You know, how can we be, be grateful to the Lord of this love? Demonstrate His love. Amen. By loving others. Amen. How do we respond to this kind of love? Amen. It is through loving others. Let me tell you this. Hallelujah. You are an extension of the beautiful expression of the love of God. Amen. You know, I am forever thankful for that somebody who willingly obey to share the love of God, the love of God for me. I'm now able to experience this love, this sacrificial love, this tremendous love that has been lavished, amen, for you and me because of that somebody's obedience. And who knows, hallelujah, your neighbor is waiting, your office mate is waiting, your family member is waiting, amen. You cannot keep this kind of love just for yourself. It's bound to be what? It's bound to be shared for others to experience as well. Amen. And I want to give this opportunity to someone right here. You wanted to experience this love. God is so personal that He personally went to the cross all the way for you to demonstrate His love. So God wants you to have this personal relationship with Him. If you are the person, all you have to do is receive Him. How? By prayer. Can we close our eyes? If you are the person, God loves you so much. He gave up His life for you and He wanted you to wanted you to experience the best of the best hallelujah let's pray lord jesus go ahead hear yourself out lord jesus i need you in my life thank you go ahead thank you say thank you that you love me and willingly gave up your life for me today god i'm making the decision to receive you as my Lord and Savior, come into my life, be the Lord of my life. I now entrust my life, my future into your hands. Have it your way in me. This I pray in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Church, church, here is the, the, the challenge for everybody. Be an extension of this love of God. Amen. Be an extension of His love. Hallelujah. Um, our love for others is our grateful response. Can you say with me again? Grateful. As we go back to that verse in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. Our love for others is our grateful response to the love that Christ, that God has demonstrated first, demonst first demonstrated to us. Amen. Amen. Could you all stand up right now? I just want to, to pray for you. Church, the greatest impact that we can make is loving others to God. Amen. For them to experience the love that God has as we encounter Jesus. Amen. So I encourage you, be an expression of God's love to others. You know, I tell you, we don't have the luxury of time in this world. Let us be intentional of loving others. Amen. Of sharing His love. Amen. Bringing it to our neighbors, to our classmates, to someone you know. Whether that would be text, whether that would be through inviting him, them here in, in new life. Amen? Or whether that could be, you can start with sharing a meal. Amen? And who knows later, you could be able to share the love of God. Amen. Let's pray. I want to pray for you, Heavenly Father. I thank you so much, oh God. What a great love that you have shown and you have demonstrated, Lord God. I thank you so much, Lord, that we will be able to continually grow in the knowledge of this love. How deep, how wide, Lord God, is your love. How astonishing that love that you have for us, oh God. 
And I thank you so much, oh Lord, that this love will be the source, Lord God. It will be the root, Lord God. It will be a source of life for us, Lord, as we continue in this journey, God. And I thank you in the name of Jesus that this love will not just stop in, with, within us, oh God, that we will become a full as the the expression of your love was fully expressed, Lord God, in us. I pray in the name of Jesus that we too will be an expression, an extension of your love to others. Je Jesus, I thank you so much, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. That as we continually in uh, encounter you and grow in that revelation of who you are, thank you so much, O oh Lord, that we are also growing, Lord, in understanding at what matters most in your heart. God, we give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We pray that you were blessed by today's message. Here are some ways how you can continue to give your tithes and your offering here in New Life Tacloban. Thank you, church, and God bless.